This behind me here is an eight-year-old 2016 Tesla Model X, and it's time to replace the headlights. We ran into some issues with them not working. I've ordered a new set on eBay, because I don't want to pay Tesla full pop for these brand new ones. Although eBay is saying that they're brand new, I'm really taking a chance here. I ordered them, they've just arrived. We're gonna open them up, we're gonna get them installed, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Well, the headlights that I ordered on eBay have arrived, so let's open them up and see how they look. Right, there's the right hand. So I'm assuming that's the left over there. So let's get this guy opened up. Lots of bubble wrap, so that's good to see. Well, there they are, left hand and right hand. I said they're brand new and they sure look it, but I'm really glad to see that they were very well packaged, tons of bubble wrap. So I'll post the seller's name here on eBay down in the description of the video, but these are looking pretty good, very well protected. Can't wait to get them installed and see how they work. So here we are, we've got the headlights removed. The bumper has been unclipped all along the top here. There was several 10 millimeter bolts across the front, as well as what looks like eight clips that just pop out. Uh, we dislocated the fenders on each side and then there's a little uh, torque screw up in the top corners on each side there as well that you have to undo. But uh, yeah, you don't have to remove the bumper completely, just drop down the front portion there. So right now we've got the headlights out and the frunk is completely disassembled and we're gonna start putting the new ones in and see how it goes, plug them in and see if they work. So here is where that torque screw goes through and it hooks into the bottom of this plastic bracket right here. Get that in focus so you can see it goes into this grommet up and behind here. And here's the screw itself. I'll put the uh, number of torque down in the description. But yeah, just a flat, looks like a machine screw of some sort. And that's the, actually the trickiest part. Everything else is pretty good. I uh, do recommend you getting a trim tool. If you're wondering what a trim tool is, I'll show you in a sec. So this is a trim tool. This is available at pretty much any auto body, auto parts repair place. Um, it's like a heavy duty nylon plastic tool. It kind of looks like a big popsicle stick, but it's tapered on each end, slightly different thicknesses and widths. And that allows you to go in and press these little clips down without um, damaging the, uh, the metal and paint and everything else. All right, so we've got the left headlight installed. The bolts go in different directions. This one here comes from the top. This guy around here comes from the side, but there are two underneath here. You can see uh, up through, let's see, where are we here? Ah, there it is right there. So this guy here and Let's see, this guy here, they come in from the front and they have locator pins. So what I did was I kind of mocked it up with the locator pins and uh, kind of flushed it up as much as I could. And then I tightened in these two that are pulling the headlight back towards the vehicle first. Then I did the side one, then I did the top one and it seems to be aligned uh, with the body pretty much perfect here. Obviously I won't know until I get the bumper back on, but that seemed to be the most logical way to do it. So let's get the right side put on here and uh, yeah, let's get this job done. So I'm holding the right one in my hand and I just thought I'd show you guys those lower locator pins there. You can see that fin pin sticking out there on this guy here as well. So you want to get those lined up first before you start cranking anything down. The other thing I want to mention is you want to get all of the bolts in there finger tight before you start cranking anything down. So get your bolts in, turn them a few times just with your fingers just to get all the holes lined up because if you start cranking it down with a wrench or ratchet, you're gonna run into alignment problems. So as you can see for these lower bolts, I'm using a big extension, actually multiple extensions, that's what I had, but it's working. Got the 10 mil on the end of it and just kind of putting it on finger tight before we just give it a little, just to snug it up, a little crank there. We don't wanna snap the plastic though. Well, we've got both headlights installed. Let's uh, fire them up and see if they work. And we are in business. They are both working. Look at these bad boys. Yes. Fantastic. We have power. So let's get this thing put back together.
One of the things I did just as a little precaution, I don't know if it makes a big difference or not, but I put the car into service mode just before I started unplugging the headlight wiring harnesses and that sort of thing. I just didn't want any codes going off. So popped it into service mode. It's easy to do. You just go down to your service menu, press and hold the name of your vehicle. In my case, Model X, a little square pops up and asking you for a code. Just type in the word service, hit OK, accept the disclaimer, and it puts the car into service mode. Well, we got the frunk put back in there, the liner, got the WeatherTech mat in there, just installed the weather stripping around here and just now popping back on these panels. They're fairly straightforward. They usually start with the first one, go left, right, and then across the back. And they are working perfectly. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you dispose of the old headlights appropriately. We'll see you in the next one.